was in the lead up to the Benghazi terror attacks and why Congressman Issa wanted to control this investigation himself. Yeah, um, I think that one of the, the big things here and the big takeaways in these latest emails that we're getting out of the State Department is that, you know, they're a little, there's a little bit more re Republican involvement than had originally most people had thought. Both parties here. Yeah, they're quick to, to go after Hillary Clinton on this, and she has her own things she needs to be held accountable for, but the Republicans weren't innocent in all of this. And what we've learned through some of these emails, and, and this is just a copy of the State Department email that we received, and uh, it, it, it brings Rogers into this discussion. And there's also, you know, as we've gone in and done a little more research on Rogers, well, his wife was a prominent and actually a CEO of one of the uh, a large defense contracting corporation, and they had hundreds of uh, security contracts where they were actually helping provide security in Libya, and they were making upwards of a half a billion dollars in those U.S. contracts. That's confirmed on USA Spending.gov. So we do know those contacts, um, those actually were out there and they existed. Now, both Rogers and his wife mm -hmm. quietly resigned in December of this last year, trying to kind of you know sneak away. So we know Rogers is not going to face much under the House, House Ethics Committee, but he will if there's any if they find any any kind of wrongdoing or any kind of illegal right. actions, him and his wife could be be held accountable in a in a court of law at some point. We don't know where that's going to go. We reached out here from San Diego Six to Daryl Issa's office. They did not want to confirm why or if he indeed really wanted this not to go to a select committee because when it goes to a select committee, that gives a, little, a lot more parameters on what documents they can get, and we're slowly getting to see those documents. Um, one of the questions I had, I think one of the big things is the Defense Intelligence Agency, 10 days before the actual attack on Benghazi, had a, um, a threat assessment out saying that an attack was imminent in Benghazi. I reached out to DIA yesterday to find out if they would acknowledge this. They said yes, and I asked if they would notify Aegis Contracting, which is what uh, Roger's well, wife was you under. have known about this for, for years. I mean, yeah. this is not new. So I want to send you to San Diego 6.com yeah. because a lot of yeah. Kimberly's the reports will be on are there. there, so you can read them in, in their you know full capacity. So thank yep. you, as always, so much yep. for your time. Thanks. And still ahead, we 